Hey everyone and welcome back to the series where we master Postman from the ground up. In our last video we learned how to build powerful API requests using query and path variables to get exactly the data we need. But once you made that perfect API request and server sends you back a response, what do you do with it? How do you save it for later, share it with your team or use it to build future API tests? That's exactly what we are covering today. We are moving from making API request to managing their responses. This is a critical step for efficient and organized request in Postman. By the end of this video, you will know exactly how to save, manage and reuse your API response responses like a pro. All right, let's go back to the Postman here and use a simple get request as an example and you can see here the URL and it's ready to send so when I hit the send button we get a successful 200 OK response and the JSON body with the user data now this response is useful but it's temporary if I close this tab or make another request this specific response is gone you can see here the response is cleared the response that we saw previously is no more there once I close this tab. So why do we need to save this? There are three main reasons. First, documentation and collaboration. Let's say you want to, you want to show this response, 200 OK response for this get scenario to your teammate so that he can exactly understand what a successful response looks like. So instead of having them run this request again themselves, they can just see the saved example. The second reason is future proofing and testing. You need a reliable snapshot of a successful response. And, and AP, you know, in development, API, APIs can change, but your saved example won't. This also is a foundation for creating mock servers, which I will explain in a future video. And the third reason for saving a request and response is for offline analysis and reporting. Sometimes you just need to you need to have the raw data. You might want to save the JSON file to import into another tool or a spreadsheet or keep this as a log. Let's focus on the most powerful and most common way to save a response. So here is the response. The most common way is an example. So here is the default one, save response as an example. So once you click that, you see a you see a instantly postman doing two things. First, it saves a copy of the get response, the copy of the request we just made, and the URL, the methods, and any headers used in that. So this is basically a snapshot of what we did, in what we sent in the request, and what we got in the response, and the headers and all the other details too. So over here, if you say, if you click on the other option, save response to file, it saves the response as a JSON because that's what the JSON, that's what the response format was in this case. So, so now let's save it. So it, it saves the response in a file. But if you hit the save response default option, it creates a quarter copy automatically and then saves all the information. So here's the magic. So let me close my original get request. And come back and see what has and if you want to see what a successful response for this get request looks like so when you do a testing or any any sample sample testing for example you can know you have always have an option to save the snapshot so when you come back tomorrow and show what you what you saw you can open the snapshot and no need to worry about whether the server was down at that time because you have the snapshot Another pro tip here is saved examples are the backbone of Postman's documentation and mock server features. So when you generate documentation for your collection, as we mentioned earlier in the video, in another video, so Postman will automatically include these examples to show users what to expect. This makes your API so much easier to understand. 
All right, saving an example is great for working inside the Postman, but what if you need to save the raw response as a file on your computer? So that's what uh, I mentioned earlier, that when you hit the send response, it's go or get res get request when you do a get request you saw the default example of save response which created a response inside the postman but if you want to save the response outside to a file you click the view more actions here and then click save response to the file and we saw this earlier it saves the response as a pure raw JSON body because that's what the response content type we got and you simply save so now you can go your, go your go to your file system and then forward the file to any any teammate you want to share the response with so let's quickly recap the difference this default save response is for in postman work when you want to work inside the postman it, and you want to keep the snapshots of what uh, a successful response you can Click the default save response so it goes back and stores postman saves, saves it within your project with a full request and response pair inside your postman collection but when you use the save to file it saves a json file in, in your local computer so you can email it or share it online so as you continue to work you might create you, you, might, you might create multiple examples for get post put also for a get response also you might have this is a happy path and I might have a failure path and in these cases managing them is easy you just rename the snapshot in this negative case and then you say uh, failure response or a negative scenario any unique name for this so you can now click the snapshot and see the success response and an example uh, for the negatives where you can see the negative uh, scenario where we get the expected 404 not found and the successful scenario the status code not only that it saves all the response body the request information re response information and you might as well do it for other requests as well any request you send you have the option to save the snapshot And there you have it. You now know how to effectively save and manage your API responses in Postman. And you also learned the difference between saving as an example and saving and saving it to a file for external use. So this simple skill will save you a ton of time because today evening, for example, you might have tested this request, but tomorrow morning when you want to show it to somebody, the server might be down or the something else in the environment issue so you could not run the request again and show it to your teammate for example but luckily thanks to postman save example you can just click on the saved one and then show everything that you saw yesterday so thanks so much for watching if you found this video helpful hit the like button and consider subscribing so you don't miss the next video in our postman series in our next video, we are going to dive into one of the most powerful features of Postman, variables. We will learn how to stop hard coding values and start making our request more dynamic and reusable. It's a game changer. Leave a comment if you have any questions and I will see you in the next one.